G'day trainers and welcome back to part 10 of Poke Arc Survival Evolved. I'm sure you're wondering what happened with that giant, absolutely massive kaiju type creature just over the way. So I guess I'll tell you. No idea. He has, seems to have disappeared completely. Uh, good for us because he would have easily destroyed absolutely everything here. Uh, but he has disappeared. That is incredibly lucky for us. Uh, what's less lucky is look at the state of our world. Where are the textures? There's nothing. Like, like look at that. There, there's no textures coming in at all. They all look, I don't know, what's the worst resolution we've ever had as a species? I'm sure it's less than 360, but I'm going to say this is 360p world right now, and it kills me a little bit. In happier news, though, we see that our Butterfree has yet again become a shiny and we need a name and I believe I said that I was going to name this one this beautiful little butterfree is going to be called Emily there we go and let's just see 42 levels all right how are we going to spend these chuck a few in health wow did did I increase butterfree's health that much it's pers <laughs> we increased Amelie's health so much she is now unconscious. That's a male. Oh, you're still Amelie. That's okay. Let's see what we can do for little cool lava here. Again, a lot. Did the same thing. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to be careful with that. What I had done is I bumped up the multipliers just a little bit. Uh, because we're not seeing any huge level Pokemon spawn in, but we are going to have to go up against certain origin creatures and then bosses that have got well in excess of hundreds of millions of HP. So to stand any sort of a chance with Juice using our Pokemon, I don't want to make it too easy, but to stand any sort of a chance, we are going to need a little bit of help. And we've been saying it for a while now. It is time to find a brand new powerhouse. So I'm going to go try and search for something that could become our new prime fighter. I'm hoping it's a Charizard. I'd like to be able to fly on it. Uh, however, I wouldn't mind finding another high level one of these bad boys. I would love a big Typhlosion. Let's see what we can find. Guys, look at this. We have just found Mrs. Blizzade. I thought she was gone. I thought there was no way we were going to get her back. And here she is. I'm so pr I'm so happy. So happy. We gotta be careful though. There is a Nuka Dodo below us, and they will destroy us if they get to catch us. All right, trainers. Right behind me is what we call Carnivore Island. This is where some of the scariest, biggest, baddest dinosaurs spawn on the island. And I'm hoping that maybe we can find some big bad Pokemon too. Let's go and take a look. As you can see, Mrs. Blizzade here is an absolute beast. Guys, that is the very first Mega Charizard X that we have seen. As a matter of fact, it's the very first Mega Charizard we've seen. Whoa. Too bad they can't be tamed. <laughs> so what we do need to do... Wow, what on earth is that? An Apex Basilisk. Uh, we're going to steer clear of that because that looks like it could be the most dangerous thing we have ever seen here. Time to save this Blastoise. Yes! Granted, that Blastoise is not going to see that as protecting him because we burned him too. Actually, we could get him. Maybe get ourselves a, a blastoise -a -night. Oh, no. nothing oh that's i think we do have a blastoise and at home uh but it would always be good to have another one we're definitely going to stay clear of that celestial argentavis and i think for now we're just going to keep training up mrs blizzade all right we are out of stamina and that's dangerous because there is a big old carno boy right there that's right doesn't seem like they saw us though all right so it seems apart from those two megas all those three megas we've now seen does not seem to be a lot of Pokemon out here, uh, which definitely makes things more difficult for us. Can we take out a dragon? We can quite easily as well. All 
right, we got another dragon on us. Let's oh, show him who the real fire breather is. Let's try with the oh, oh the tail bash. Come on. All right. Oh, we got to land. Come on, regain some health. Regain some health. I mean, sorry, regain some stamina. Let's go. Great work, Mrs. Blizzard. All right, but these are all relatively low level creatures. These haven't got anything even close to the type of power of the origins and the bosses that we're planning on fighting. But it is a start. All right, next is definitely going to be this corrupted Giga over here. We should be able to get something very nice after flamethrowering him. Still, though, only level 90. So nothing to write. <gasps> What is this? We got two eggs in here? What are they? A dragon egg and a wyvern egg. Let's get rid of them. We're going to steal these eggs. Uh, and then probably going to have to run for our lives. Oh, no. Oh, get in there. Oh no, what do I want? Oh, that dragon's coming. <laughs> that will burn me alive. Always the reliable partner. Excellent work, bud. We do need to work on this uh, jumping synchronization, though. I could make it land. <sighs> All right. Stop. That is pretty cool. So we could, if we wanted to, go home and hatch a wyvern and a dragon. Why can we not eat it? Oh, there we go. What did we get from that? Nothing. More just just more meat, more levels. Oh, should we try this? Let's try it. <gasps> oh no. That's what I mean. That was a primal Kano, level 690, and it one-shot us. I didn't clue on until too late. I saw it. Oh, hi, Butterfree. Sorry, Amelie. I didn't clue on too late until I saw it one-shot the, what was it, a prime basilisk or a mega basilisk or something. Uh, and by that point, it was it, it was too late. You're right, everyone. With Mrs. Blizzade out of commission for a little while, I think it is time. Well, let's upgrade the health a bit more. Hopefully he doesn't go into, you know, not responsive. Pump that melee. One into stamina. Let's evolve him. Let's get ourselves a Typhlosion. Oh, hello. Hello, big boy. Or oh, I can ride you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, wow. What a jump. Big boy's got... Oh, someone's fighting down here. Uh, Grace the Alolan Vulpix is going absolutely ham on the wildlife. She is just running around, killing everything. Absolutely everything. Uh, all right. Pump a few more levels here. We got what? One more. Do we have any? We have. You know what? Let's chuck all of these. Okay, one of them gave us 75 levels. So. The health went down again. Uh, we should have. One of those. 
So as that's healing, we're going to increase. Because we're going to need a lot of health. There you go. What's that? 300,000? No, 30,000. Let's go 50,000 HP. And just rest into melee. And let's see what sort of damage our Typhlosion can do. Now level 257. Uh, it is glowing. Why is he glowing? Okay. Oh. That's pretty cool though. All right. So we got a regular attack, which looks like headbutt. A right click. Looks like it's going to be eruption. Do we have a C? No. For Z? No. Do we have an R or a Q? No. Okay, let's go see what sort of damage we are dealing with right here. Regular height. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, do you build up damage as you're running? Attack. 17,000 damage from just a regular attack. All right, let's have a look at eruption. Oh, what happens if I... Can I run into someone like this? Let's run into this parasaur. No. Does it give us more power? No. Then what is it? Oh, it will set you on fire if you're too close. So, let's try that again. No. No. I don't know, maybe it's just a nice little aesthetic change. That's really cool. So, let's try this. I don't know why there is so much lag between what we're doing though. That's weird. So taking a look at our Typhlosion here, we've actually got some goodies. We've got an Ascendant Shotgun with a shell, but we've also got some Ascendant Flak Gauntlets. I don't know if we'll use them. Oh, oh sorry, what were those? We got more Potent Tranquilizers. Guys, it's gonna be a good day. Let's go see what else we can find. Actually, hold on. What happens if I put another one in? Only five more levels. But not max, which means we could keep going. Let's try one more. Two more levels. Still not maxed though. All right, still only 14,000 damage. You know, not that that's little, but still, I, I kind of expected a bit more. Okay, maybe it only damages uh, dinosaurs above me. Got to make sure we kill it because we'll get those electronics as well. Uh, or maybe, yes, 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 yes. Now, this is a scary spot. We do have to be very careful out here. Insufficient stamina. I forgot about that. All right, let's wait for him to regain stamina. Look, while uh, Typhlosion is a bit of a big boy right now, dealing pretty nice damage... Uh, I don't think he's going to be our main hitter. I have no idea where all of these Deinonychus have come from. I feel like they weren't here just a day or two ago, and now it's all I'm running into. Like, look at them all down there. All of these Crystal Deinonychus, man. No idea where they came from. I don't think I've installed any new mods. Regardless, we are going to get tons of meat. Not that we need any more, but still, nice to have. Uh, a good way to get a ton of experience as well is if you've got like an AoE move, come to somewhere where here there are tons of like snapperhead salmon. Oh, okay, that one didn't work too well. In other instances though, uh, that can be a really, really good method to just get tons of experience. Actually, do you guys know what I didn't do and is super dangerous? I haven't recaught Typhlosion. So if we had... <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, he's in my Pokeball. Alright guys, I'm going to try and tame this Arbok. Passive, it needs three dinosaur eggs, and we have 14 sitting in our final slot. Let's give it a go. How do we do this? I imagine it's going to be torporing me up as well. 
Oh. It's meant to be a passive tame. How? Come on, take it. Please. I, I don't know. I don't know how you're meant to do it. I tried knocking it out. I tried catching it in a <gasps> Pokeball. It just wasn't working. All right, let's let's finish this. Oh, maybe it has to be nope. Oh, all right, let's give this a go. Fifty thousand damage. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? That hurt so much. A dark mega raptor. That is insane. Take a look at this. This is sitting on Grace at the moment. It is full of tech equipment. Uh, C4 detonators, grenades. I think. And I'm I actually I'm pretty sure someone has tried to raid our base again. And Grace single-handedly fought them all off. Unless there's also something over here on Better of the Venusaur. Because he did look like he'd moved. No, nothing else. You know what though? How about we get ourselves an Alolan Raichu at level 540? Only 16k Torpor. I reckon we can do that. Let's see. How difficult this tame or this catch will be. Ooh, 3k damage, 3-1. Oh no, what's happening? I can't change. What's happened to me? Oh, he paralyzed me. Clever girl. Alright, so about 3.7k per shot. What, two more shots maybe? Alright. That could be it. Maybe one more. Depends on how much this will go up. There we have it. He is out. Alright, maybe we'll get ourselves a Raticate too. Big Boy seems to have a ton of potential. I mean, he's willing to come up with me after seeing me drop that Alolan Raichu. So, who knows? I don't think so, buddy. Because you can be very easily bowled. All right, we've got both of them out. Let's see if we can catch both of these guys in one go. Uh, oh, back, I stole my Pokeballs. My Great Balls, I mean. Very clever. Got to respect that. Go Great Ball. Okay. Uh, the passive tame. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So we just caught our first Alolan Raichu. Let's see what they're made of. Raichu, I choose you. We will we'll get to a name. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to ride on it. That's okay. Obviously, there's going to be no evolution. Uh, what sort of damage can you put out, though, buddy? He came in at level 805 as well. Let's see if I chuck a... That's a medium. Okay. So much. 200,000 HP should be enough, <laughs> right? Let's get 300. Then the rest just in melee damage. All right. He could end up being our real big boy of the team. All right, buddy, are you ready for this? Take it out. He one-shot a level 507 Brachio. 30,000 damage in one hit. Are you going to eat? Are you going to eat them? 
No, I don't think he is. That's right. Let's uh, let's just go clear some things up. Oh, guys, that. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Is a level one thousand and twenty Blastoise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, someone definitely came down here and advanced team as well because, oh, that's my inventory. Looks like Grace was able to take out this big guy after all. 21 electric feathers, that's not bad. And some elemental hide. Uh, as you can see, we have rearranged the base a little bit. It still looks terrible because of the textures, but I think it looks nicer than before. It is not close to being done yet, though. There will still be a long, long way to go. Oh, oh my god, it's fast. It did a decent amount of damage, right? Like, if we landed all these shots, we could do this. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. He is going to continue to try to get us with Hydro Pump. He probably won't start to run until that Torpor gets a bit higher. He's getting ready to run. Don't run. Oh, he's such a fast swimmer too. Oh, that Torpor is still rising. He might just pass out out there. He's going to. I don't know if I can throw a Pokeball underwater. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, okay, maybe it stopped. Okay, I need to try to lure him in somehow. I mean, I guess we could get our own. Oh, he's still going. I mean, I guess we could get zero. Get on the back of our own Blastoise and go do something. But I don't know. I can't fire in the water either. Look in the bottom left of the screen. Good old Tony. Looks like they have reached the absolute max level that you can reach in this game. I am excited to try to reach them and raid them. All right, he is down. Let's see if we can catch. All right, we're halfway there. Wow, how far down did he go? Where? There he is. All right. Come on, Blastoise. All right. Last Great Ball. Then we'll have to go to uh, Pokeballs and just hope. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. You know what? Let's let's just teleport back. Thanks, Zero. I appreciate that, buddy. Back to wandering, you go, mate. All right, trainers. We have added two new absolute powerhouses to the team. We've got our Alolan Raichu who can one shot level five hundred Brachiosaurs without an issue, and we've got our new strongest and highest level tame or catch a level one. Th what did he come out at? Uh, let's have a look. Level 1530 for Blastoise. Oh my god. Alright. We're going to actually evolve Blastoise. Because we have got the Blastoise Knight. Alright. Are you guys ready for this? Hey, buddy. You're so big. Guys. He is going to be so powerful. Uh, guys, I'm going to need a name for these two. We're going to need a name for our new Mega Blastoise and a name for Alolan Raichu. If you've got a good suggestion, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, we are going to call it here, though. But in the next episode, we're going to be taking Mega Blastoise out and Alolan Raichu. Let's see what they're made of. Have a good day.